So in this example, it would be perfectly understandable if you had to identify the vertical asymptote by simply just taking the denominator and setting it equal to 0 and solving. Right? Because uh, discontinuities is what makes our our discontinuity is what's going to make our denominator equal to 0. And hopefully you guys understand when x is equal to 2, we have, our we have our denominator equal to 0, right? However, we have to remember, discontinuities come in two forms, holes and asymptotes. Holes are removable, asymptotes are not. So we have to make sure this is non-removable. So to do that, I have to see if I can simplify this expression. Well, I can factor out a, uh, um, is that, this is the right equation, right? x minus 4. So I can factor out my numerator, and then this becomes x minus 2 times x squared uh, plus 2x plus 4. All right, now we verify that cannot be s divided out. So therefore, my vertical asymptote is at x equals 2. OK? It's actually this one wasn't as one that I was thinking of. So therefore, that is your vertical asymptote. To determine your horizontal asymptote, we need to look at the degree in the numerator and the denominator. The degree in the numerator is less than the degree in the denominator, so therefore our horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. If you don't know where I came up with that, here are the notes that I presented to everybody last class period. You will need to know your horizontal asymptote test. Yes. So if this is a cubed, that's a. So if that's x cubed, then that's x. And then, so it's basically me just doing this. x cubed minus 8. Well, that's x, because the cube root of a cubed is a. Cube root of x cubed is x. The cube root of 8 is 2. And then a squared, so if, if x cubed is x, then x squared is x squared plus 2 times x plus b squared. Well, b is, in this case, is going to be b squ 2 squared, which is 4. Again, we're not going to be focusing too much on your sum of two cubes or difference of two.